near it, but... Okay. You go ahead, you go ahead. Okay, so this will be the oh. oral oh. surface. I'm okay. I'm Mouth in the center. Um, these are the ambulacral grooves. These were long channels uh, out of which the two feet are protruding. You can also see lots of spines on the oral surface. Okay. And oral surface. Um, we dissected this open. You can see these are the uh, digestive glands or pyloric cica. They extend the full length of the arm. When you remove them underneath, you can see uh, the gonads. Okay, so the gonads run about two, a third to halfway down the arm and stay on the uh, lateral side of the, each arm. Um, in the center here, this uh, is the ambulacral ridge formed by uh, many, many ossicles fused together. Okay, underneath of that is the uh, radial canal and the radial nerve that I'll show you in the model. Okay, all these little red balls are the ampullae. They are the tops of the tube feet that protrude through the bottom. Okay. In the center here, <clears throat> we've removed the stomachs so you can see the, uh, the ring canal here. Okay, it's a, a bony ring just above the mouth. Okay. This part here is the uh, madreporite. That's the opening to the water vascular system. Uh, that leads down to the ring canal via a short tube that you can't really see in this specimen. <laughs> I'll show it to you on the model though. Okay, um, also in the skin, you can see the white things here are the ossicles that are embedded in the skin. They serve as uh, like the skeletal system for the sea star. Okay, now I'll show you the stuff on the model that you need to know. So we'll, we'll start over. Okay, um, again, oral surface has the mouth in the center. Uh, each of these is an ambulacral groove with the tube feet coming out, uh, lots of spines. Uh, you also have an eye spot and a tentacle at the tip of each arm, okay? The tentacles for grasping? It's, yeah, for tactile sensation, also for pulling things open like clamshells. Okay, so um, aboral surface has the anus at the top. Okay, this is where you find your two stomachs in the uh, central disc here. Okay, these would be the digestive glands or pyloric cica. In the center here, this uh, round stomach that's closest to the mouth is the cardiac stomach. Uh, the one on top that is pentagonally shaped is the pyloric stomach. The cardiac stomach is the one that is averted out of the body for external digestion of uh, like clams or mussels. Um, releases digestive enzymes into the clam shell that has been pulled apart. Uh, once that's liquefied, everything gets sucked back into the body. Okay. Um, these would be the gonads on the model here. And this is the ambulacral ridge that you saw in the dissection. Okay, now the path of water through the water vascular system. Okay, this again is the madreporite, the opening to the water vascular system. Water travels in there, down the stone canal, into the ring canal. Then the ring canal branches down each arm underneath this ambulacral ridge. You can see over here it's been removed. Uh, this would be the radial canal. That should extend the whole length of the arm. And then the radial canal branches again into the ampullae and the tube feet on the underside. So if you look at the cross section, you can see the ampulla is the top of the tube feet. Each ampulla is under separate motor control, or muscular control, and as the muscles contract, it causes the water to um, flush down into the tube foot, causing it to extend. Um, when the muscles relax a little bit, the end of the tube feet forms a suction cup, and that's how they move. Um, Inside here, anything that's yellow is part of the nervous system, so in the central disc you have the nerve ring, and then that branches down each arm into the radial nerve, which is also under the ambulacral ridge. Okay, these yellow things in the skin, again, are the ossicles, and when they protrude through the, the skin, that's where you get the spines. And these are the gonads. gonads. Mm -hmm. That's it.